This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'm Mitch English, welcoming you to Daily Flash. We are happy to have you here. Do you mm -hmm. watch the show Mythbusters? I've seen it a couple okay. times. Okay, it's a fun show. Yeah. I like it. Maddie, do you yeah, watch yeah, it? Yeah, it, yeah. It's a cool show. If you're not familiar with it, basically, they, they bust, bust myths bust. or tell you if they're real or not. Well, they also have uh, like a campaign where maybe like one show they'll do a whole thing on maybe Hollywood things that tropes. Like the Jaws that, ones. I Jaws, love the okay, Jaws they've one. done that. Well, okay. Okay, so Mythbusters did one about, you know, you see in the movies where people are throwing a Molotov cocktail, cocktail and they have a cigarette and they light it yes. and they throw it and they find out it's impossible to do, right? Okay, <laughs> so this guy back in 1986, uh, there was a, an apartment fire. Unfortunately, two people died in that fire and this man was accused of, somebody said, oh no, I saw him, had a cigarette and he threw a Molotov cocktail through the window and it caught the apartment place on, uh, in, in fire. Well, eventually the guy's like, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. And eventually he just said, yeah, I did it, fine, whatever. And so he goes to jail. Well, the guy's in jail for like two decades. Ooh. And this episode of Mythbusters pops up, and he's watching it, and he goes, is, he, they said, Adam and Jamie on Mythbusters say, it's impossible to light yeah. a Molotov cocktail with a cigarette, sure. right? And, well, his lawyer is watching the same episode. Oh, my God. They get the guy out. Wow. He, he got out after 20 years and proved his innocence based off of that because there's like there's no way he could have lied it and they go watch this episode. Wow. He got off. So uh, Mythbusters 2, the rescue after 21 years, unfortunately, this man being in jail. Uh, what was the Jaws thing? The Jaws. Well, it was mo the big part of it was could you blow up the the oxygen tank in his mouth with a oh, gun right, like a Roy right. Schneider like shoots it. Yeah. Right. And you're like you really can't. It wouldn't it wouldn't do anything. It Most of them you can't. Right. It wouldn't yeah. explode. And then, you know, the latter uh, 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 Fast and Furious stuff, anything is in that movie, and it's not going to happen yeah. in real life. No, but it looks spectacular. It looks cool, right? <laughs> it looks really cool. Well, the Brooklyn Elementary School is trying out a new idea when it comes to school hours. The Brooklyn Charter School opens bright and early at 7 a.m., lets students stay until 7 p.m. It's essentially a 12-hour school day. There's no additional charge, and the extended hours come with additional meals. Most of the parents say this new approach is a blessing as they try and juggle their work schedules with the cost of additional child care. Since they started the program, enrollment, get this, has climbed by nearly 100 students. The school said programs after hours include arts and crafts, drumming, dance, coding lessons. Staff who choose to work the program get paid extra Good. on top of their normal school day pay as they should. And the students also are giving it uh, a major thumbs up. I like this. I yeah. know in my school there were some kids, you know, they lived in a whole other neighborhood, so I wouldn't see them. The only time I'd be able to mm -hmm. see them in school. So if there's something after school, I think this is just fantastic. Okay. It, it keeps them active. It's unfortunate that there aren't community centers where you know that they can go to, but they're out of school. The bell rings. They're still there, yeah. and you don't have to worry about them wandering anywhere, right, and you right. know where they're at. Exactly. At all other than, you know, wandering home and then being at home by themselves if they have to be, or, you know, depending on somebody else for the child care. Why not? I, I, I think we should see more and more communities doing yeah. this, so thumbs up for me, too. We go down to, down under, if you will, where residents of a suburb of Sydney, Australia, enjoy the convenience of delivery, but Uber Eats by horseback? Whole other experience. <laughs> Locals actually surprised to see a man in a Uber Eats uniform arrive on horse with their food delivery. He was actually being guided through the streets by his phone. See it there? It's attached to his helmet. <laughs> People actually stop in the street. You'll see somebody there taking some pictures, videos as the horse strolls past them. Uber said that they are looking for into the situation after several videos went viral. A spokesperson said, there's no horsing around. <laughs> it's a play on words. Uh, when it comes to safety in our platform, adding that Uber holds its employees to a higher safety standard and it's against policy to make deliveries on horseback. As we talk about this, mm -hmm. The horse is going pretty slow. Mm -hmm. Actually, now I am against it. Because, I mean, if it's just going to, I mean, I want, I want Pony Express. Oh, if you want to see the kids? Yeah, I want to see, yeah, you you see it gallop through the street. I want to so see, no, 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 no. Well, if it gallops, oh, all no, your no, food's no. going to be jumbled up. Yes, your ramen's going to sure. be a mess. Yeah. Like, that, no, there's nothing good about that. There, there is nothing good. I thought, well, okay, it's helping the environment, but I want my, I want my, my Wendy's burger well, now. Then when, then when the horse gets there for the delivery and he leaves a delivery on your yard, you're like, whoa, 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 there's where's the up here, guys? Come Do you charge extra for the fertilizer? I think, you know, it should actually be extra. Right. I think it's a ploy by Uber Eats for a little bit more attention I, I and think some you're marketing. Right. That's I think my you're guess. Right. Yeah. All right, we have more Flash coming up around the corner. If you go anywhere you miss it, don't do that.